This is the Coolit Vantage. So this is an upgraded version of the Eco, which is economical, and the Vantage is not as economical. So what do you get for your less economical? Well, first of all, you get two fans. Okay, so you have two fans mounted in push-pull on the radiator. Second of all, you get an LCD interface on the CPU cooler itself, which gives you error alerts, as well as uh, being customizable with different colors, so that's pretty neat. You get a universal retention system, which you also get with the Eco, and you get fully upgradable, and we'll get into more of that, but you get fully upgradable compliance with Coolit's Maestro software control platform, wireless software control platform, so that's pretty cool. Let's start getting this opened up. And we will have a look at the Vantage Advanced Liquid Cooling Solution for CPUs. All right, here we go. So Coolit's packaging has evolved a lot over the years. It's gotten a lot better. Here's the instruction manual. It is available in a number of different languages. Shows you how to attach your backplate, how to install the Vantage in your case. Because it does use a 120 millimeter fan, it's Look at this, this is a color manual, I didn't even realize, it's phenomenal actually. Um, because it does use a 120mm fan, it is compatible with most cases that feature a 120mm cooling fan at the back. This is your unique hardware ID number, that's kind of neat. Okay, you have different performance modes, extreme performance and quiet, which will actually ramp up the fan speed differently based on the temperature and which mode you select. So that's kind of cool. What else do we have in here? We've got an installed unit. We've got, uh, it's completely configurable via the built-in LCD screen. So here's all the different stuff that you can change. And there we go. I guess that's all there is to really say about this. I hope that Maestro is still the same, uh, the same wireless control thing that they showed at CES. You can actually see the CES sticker on the box, so they want to design an engineering showcase on her at CES 2010. Here's all our different backplates. I'm actually not going to go too far into that because backplates are not very interesting. And then here we have uh, hold downs. So you go ahead and uh, loosen that and you can pull these apart. There you go. So that's the AMD hold down. All right. And there is the Vantage itself, curled up in the fetal position, hiding from my unboxing. Oh, this is interesting. It's not actually dual fan, that's a shroud. So Coolit has gone ahead and done a shrouded cooler. Now what impact that has on performance, I'm not sure, but something that I can promise you is I will be testing it against the Corsair H70 in the coming, uh, in the coming week or so. And then I will let you guys know exactly what kind of a difference this shroud makes, as well as uh, letting you know if it's possible to install an additional fan. Because what I do see here is an additional fan mount. Unless this is a... Uh... Okay, hold on. I don't get it. This doesn't happen to me well. It happens to me once in a while during my unboxings. But no, I like to think not too often. Well, we'll figure out exactly what all of this means in a moment. But let's take a look at the Vantage itself. So here you can see this is kind of like a fan frame. That's why I mistook it for a push-pull uh, radiator. But uh, yeah, it's just a little mounting bracket. So you can go ahead and screw that into your case. No problem. It uses quite a thin, low-profile radiator. And then you can see it is completely sealed. So this is the fill port right here. And then there is an inlet and an outlet port into the radiator, which runs right over to your CPU block. Now, this is one thing that's really cool that Coolit's done with their coolers, is you can see they do use rotating uh, hose barbs. So what that means is if you're installing the Vantage radiator in your case like this and your CPU socket is most comfortable like that or like that or wherever it is that you need to mount it, you have that flexibility and you can uh, mount it however you need to. So here on the CPU block, or rather the CPU block and pump, because it's an integrated unit, you've got one power input M1 power output. So uh, yeah, yeah, here we go. So this plugs in here and powers the fan. So it looks like we don't have built-in support for an additional fan. And it is meant to be used as like a shrouded uh, setup. Okay, and then this one plugs into your CPU socket. Here is the LCD screen itself, which you can see will look right side up, regardless of which way you install it in your case. 
although I don't know if it has some way of knowing whether it's right side up or not. You can see this is the universal mounting system here. So you can slide this in and out depending on what kind of an Intel setup you are using. And then you can install the AMD brackets if you are using an AMD setup. So here you just lift it up and then I believe you push it over. Hold on, let me see if I can figure this out. That would help if that wire wasn't there. Yeah, there we go. And then you just pull it in like that. So you just put it in the position it belongs in, put the appropriate backplate on the back of your motherboard and boom, it's mounted just like that. Here is the bottom of the Vantage. So you can see they actually label which holes you need to move the mounting kit over to in order to have it fit on socket 775, 1156 or 1366. You can see it does have pre-applied thermal compound on the bottom of the copper CPU water block. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say about it. Actually, that's not all there is to say. I wanted to talk a little bit about Coolit's Maestro software. I don't know if they've actually released this yet. By the way, here are the mounting screws for the radiator. But Maestro allows you to monitor and control your system via software from like a convenient software interface. And you can actually set all the different things like fan profiles as well as um, even lighting effects, I believe you can change with Maestro. There's a bunch of really cool stuff that they showed off at CES. But I think one of the reasons they're not talking about it too much yet is that it's not 100% ready yet. I mean, software stuff like that often takes a long time to develop and debug if you want it to work right. And if there's one thing Coolit has demonstrated again and again is that they don't like to release a product until it's actually ready. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Coolit Vantage and stay tuned for some performance testing. Thank you for checking out my channel, Linus Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe.